If we can pick lung cancer up early and we can do surgery, overall there's about a 50% chance of long-term survival. But there's a 50% chance that that disease will come back. If you can pick up that relapsing, returning tumour early, you've got a much better chance of choosing the right personalised treatment for that patient. So how do we tell which are the patients that have a really good chance of long-term survival after surgery and which are the patients are going to be the unlucky 50% that have a high chance of the tumour coming back again. Tumour cells come from the primary tumour in the lung and they get into the bloodstream and they move around the body and they find somewhere else to grow. Now that might be the liver, it might be the brain, it could be other organs in the body. These are the cells that cause trouble, or at least some of them do, some of the time. And when we take blood from the arm of a patient, it's very, very hard to find circulating tumour cells. They're really rare. Could we find circulating tumour cells close to the tumour? So we thought, well, let's look in the vein in the lung, which is draining the lung that's got the cancer in it. Just before the tumour was taken out by the surgeon, we took blood from the vein, in the chest, in the lung, and we counted the cells which were not blood cells, so a chance of them being circulating tumour cells. And then we said, if we count them, does that number predict which patients are going to come back with their disease in distant sites in their body? So this time we did it in 100 patients. We're fairly confident now that the number of those cells which are not blood cells predict the return of the tumour after surgery. I'm not sure that we are at the stage where every patient that has surgery will have the blood taken out of the vein in their lung yet. You don't want to say to someone, you're a really high risk of your tumour coming back, when actually they're not. So we have to now do a much bigger experiment, a future experiment, to determine what number of cells in that vein, the tumour cells, what number to be really confident about to say to a patient, we need to monitor you more regularly because you've got a higher risk of your tumour coming back so that we can get the treatment in earlier and extend their healthy, happy life. The fact that this Tracer X consortium has been set up and allowed us together to look at these really, really important questions is just extraordinary that CRUK has provided that funding and supported us to do that work.